All right, guys, so we're going to be talking about rappels today, okay? I know you probably expect a video from me where I was going to tell you guys about the events coming up this month and all the stuff that's going on, but no. I mean, we will talk about the events that are happening right now, but not in the same light you guys probably expect. Um, so just wait, we're going to see that in this video. Alright, so first of all, I know most of you guys probably expect me to have this video coming out yesterday. I'll tell you this, uh, as soon as the servers came back live, I tuned in the game and I went right to see that new event that just came out. And yes, that the event's over already, pretty much because you had to trade all your tickets uh, that you got through the Valentine's Day event. What for me makes no sense. Uh, got those traded and you got mostly not really good stuff. Also, most people had no idea what was going on with those tickets. I expect was going to be, I don't know, a dungeon, something more interesting. Um, but yeah, and it shows because Discord, if you guys are on Discord, you know it's been uh, just horrible, okay? Now, we have another event going on, and it's a cash shop event. Okay, guys, right now, um, Ultimate Belt kits, okay, it's insane. The price makes no sense. I mean, you would have to spend about 70 bucks to be able to upgrade your belt to a eight slot belt. It's just too much. Um, and the main reason it really upsets me is because in my channel, every single video that comes out, I have at least one comment of someone actually coming back to the game. So a lot of those guys, they kind of did not do the transition from WebZen. What it means they lost their account, so they're starting from scratch, and they don't mind. The problem is, yeah, they start from scratch, gonna hit 150 really quick, and gonna require eight slot belt. Now, okay, I, I had some mods and everybody that was saying, well, you know, you put in the time or you put in the money. I agree, I said that to the channel before, but still, 70 bucks a lot of money. Like in the United States, some parts of Europe may not be such a big issue, okay? But a lot of countries, like um, minimum salary in Brazil, for example, is about $200. And you're sinking 70 bucks to get your belt. And then you go, well, um, so you can just grind and, you know, make rupees in that way well yeah sure that's great but most people that actually play repels we're like 30s 40s you know with some some people here and there up or down those people work every single day okay you don't have six hours to put in the game most people have families and i, I don't understand that concept where you charge a lot of money for an item when, tell the truth, if that was cheaper, even like half the price, most people would be buying those items and, you know, you would actually make more money. <laughs> so I don't get it. Anyway, so the other thing, uh, being huge arguments, like the less events have been kind of okay-ish to say the least, um, actually not really, people are being really, people are really, really upset, okay, at, on Discord, and I agree with them, um, I saw one event uh, a couple of months back, wasn't that bad, um, but I feel like you make those month-long events, or like even two weeks, of nothing, like, for example, you can't get any more chocolate boxes, right? So, whatever you had, you already traded. And 
at the same time you already traded um, there's no reason for you to have you know the event npc still on i mean that should be like a couple of days or maybe a week event honestly it, it just doesn't make sense now cash up yes prices increased so much like three times more expensive for you to get bell, uh, ultimate ultimate belt kits guys come on i mean a lot of people love this game okay a lot of people come back to this game and you're pretty much reminding them of some of the reasons they left the game first of all all right yes i don't expect us to have a christmas or even like a halloween event every month even that knowing that those two have been kind of rough on people because it's just a couple of the players uh, in the game that actually get anything from it. Okay, just being honest, you guys know that. So, come on, easy out. You don't want the game to close or you wouldn't be publishing this game, okay? But at the same time, if you want to get people to come back to the game and stay in the game, you gotta throw a bone in here, all right? I mean, I love the game. I came back time and again to the game. I came back because a lot of the players asked me to. But, you know, what am I going to say to people? Hey guys, come back to this game. It's freaking amazing. The publishers are great. You know, you get a lot of stuff. I can't. All right. Yes, we get a lot of stuff. Sure. But you want people to stay in the game, throw a little bone here and there, better events, better not to have an event, they have a bad event okay because that just keeps gets people frustrated i'm really sorry for that rant guys but it's not just me it's pretty much everybody that is playing the game right now and you know get your stuff together i mean i would hate to see you know people that just message me saying hey i'm back in the game to message me saying hey dude yep not for me anymore okay Thank you guys very much for watching. Um, let me know what you guys think about what's going on right now in the game. Uh, subscribe, give me a like, you know, notifications bell, all that good stuff. And as always guys, I'll see you in the game.